Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be working the tricep, the chest, and those abs. So get a mat if you have one. If not, I'm using a beach towel. I am coming at you from the beach actually. Um, and we are just gonna knock this out. So it will be a floor workout. If you have weights, grab them. If not, don't worry about it. You can either grab anything around your house, just make sure it's equal weight on both sides, or you can do this workout without any weights. And um, come join me. All right, I'm gonna get up and get in position. We are gonna start on our backs. Actually, we'll be on our backs the whole time. I'm gonna set myself up. All right, get on your backs. I want your knees bent for me. Weights are gonna be on each hand. And I want you to make sure that your back is straight um, alongside that floor, okay? So don't, um, don't have any arch in your back. Make sure it is pushed up against that floor. Have those weights, one in each hand. If you don't have weights, just make fists. That works as well. I want you to have those elbows super close to that body, right like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go straight up and then we're going to go right back down, but don't touch that ground. So come straight up with me and then come right here. This is working the triceps. Now with this move, you want to make sure you're not going like this. I don't want you going over your head. So um, if you're seeing it over your face and your eye level, um, scoot it back you want to keep it going over where your belly button is in your stomach area so we're going to go up like this squeezing the back of that arm working that tricep area right there stomach's in nice and tight all right you guys we have four more of these and we're going to hold it up on top four three two last one hold it here nice job now what I'm gonna have you do is now I want you to shift your arm straight over your head so by your forehead area we're gonna alternating going down right like this so we're gonna go right and then left bending at that elbow keeping that elbow nice and straight so don't move your your arm like that you want to just keep it nice and straight we're still in hammer hold, so your palms should be facing each other. I'm just alternating. These are called skull crushers, but we're going right next to our head because we do have dumbbells. Or even if you don't have anything, that's okay. Still working the back of that arm, and you're still moving. That's great. All right, you guys, we have four more. Here we go, four, three, two last one i want you to hold it here right like this nice job guys now i want you to bend those elbows right here okay so i kind of want you to make like a shelf with your forearm area what we're going to do is you're going to go back behind your head tap the floor just tap it though i don't want you resting it like this i just want you to do a gentle tap you're going to come up and we're going to crunch our abs and then we're going to go right back down tapping above our head um, coming up crunching those abs keeping that chin up and then right back down over our head now all I am doing is moving my shoulders I am NOT moving my elbows I'm going nice and slow pushing that stomach into the ground and back down make sure that chin is up Make sure your shoulder blades leave the ground right here and then right back down. Now, if it's too hard for you because it's too much stress on your neck, then this is what I want you to do. You're gonna leave your neck down on the ground and just move your arms right like this. Okay, so if you have any neck issues or if your neck starts to get tired, I want you to just come right here, but keep that stomach nice and tight all right, you guys, we have four more. Four. Three. Make sure you're going nice and slow with this movement. Two. Last one. And one. 
Nice job, guys. Tap above your head. All right, get those arms over your chest area. I want your palms to go out. So your palms should be facing towards your toes and your feet. Back nice and straight. Check your form. Stomach in tight. All we're gonna do is chest presses, nice and easy. Let's bring it up and then bring it down. Bending those elbows out to the side, but don't let them touch the ground. So I'm going down just to where they're about to touch and then I'm lifting them up. When you come up, squeeze that chest muscles. Squeeze, I'm also squeezing my tricep muscle as well. Stomach in nice and tight. I just noticed mine was not, so I'm gonna shift my body. Oh, whoopsie. See, even I get out of form now and then. I have to check myself. All right, you guys, we have four more. I'm gonna tell you our next move. That's four, three, two, last one, one. Now go down into that chest press. Now I want you to watch me. We're gonna go up into a crunch. My knee, we're gonna alternate knees. My knee comes up, I'm crunching towards it, and I'm gonna go right back down to that chest press. This time I do want you to touch the ground. So now you're gonna come up with that other side, and then right back down. Crunching it, down, crunch, down. Alternating knees, side to side, Ch uh, chin is up. Get those shoulder blades off. All right, we're gonna do four more, and then we're gonna leave our knees down. And we're gonna continue with the crunch. So we have one more right here. All right, now you're here, come up with the crunch. Meet in the middle, and then right back down. Meet in the middle, come right back down. So now our feet stay firm on the ground. And again, if this is too tiring for the neck, you're right here. Or try to ditch the, put your weights down and try it without weights. Put that pressure off that neck. Also having your chin up also does. Make sure that chin is up. I'm gonna grab my weights again. We're gonna do two more. Two, last one, one. Nice, arms are up. Uh, palms are going to face each other and we're going to open up for flies. Do not touch that ground though. Go right here, straight arms and then squeezing the ch uh, chest when coming up. Open wide and together. Open wide and together. <laughs> oh my gosh, that bird is seriously squawking. I don't think it likes where I'm at. All right, you guys, keep on going. Squeezing the chest muscles. Make sure that stomach's in nice and tight. I just had to check myself. Make sure that back is against that floor. All right, one more. Nice. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up. You're gonna come up into a crunch and then open back into a fly. Come up into a crunch between those legs. So when you're up, you're between your legs right here, crunching, getting those shoulder blades up off that ground, right like this, and then down. Crunch it up, and then release. Crunch up, and release. Nice job, guys. We have five more. Five, four, three, Two, nice and slow. And one. Nice. Leaving your arms right like this. Lift them up a little bit. Turn your palms towards your toes right here. What you're gonna do is I want you to curl in. So now my arms are right by the inner part of my armpit. And I'm gonna open up. So just bend that elbow right here. Touch the um, right above your armpit and then you're gonna open up. So the only thing that is moving is my elbows. So don't, don't lift your arm. Our shoulders are going nowhere. They're locked solid right where they are. Head is down on that ground. 
Now we're working the tricep right here. So squeeze that tricep that's the back of that arm. Squeeze that tricep. Ooh, I always feel these. This is a good one. Squeezing it. And then, all right, we're going to do it one more time. Squeeze in. And then right here, I want you to hold this position. You're going to come straight up right here. Straight arms overhead. What I'm going to have you do is you're going to come up, touch that opposite knee, and then right back down. Come up with the other arm, touch that opposite knee, come right back down. Again, if it's too tiring on your neck, this works as well. Just keep that head on the ground. You're still working those abs. They're still being engaged. And if you need to, if these weights are starting to get too heavy because we haven't stopped, we're just going one into the next um, exercise, just ditch them. No shame in it. So you should be right here. If you want, you can lift up. Just make sure that chin is up. Stomach's being pushed into the ground. Don't blow that stomach out. Exhale coming up. Inhale going down. Right like that. All right, we have four more. Four. Three. Last two. Two. Last one. One. Nice. I'm going to grab my weights. All right, you guys, we are right here. I want you to turn them towards your body. All right, we're going to start with that first move that we did when we came right here down next to our body super close but don't touch the ground come up and squeeze the back of that arm come down right next to your body and then come up nice and slow with this movement we're concentrating on the back of that arm which is the tricep right here don't touch the ground and then push up remember um, you want to be right above your stomach all right you don't want to go up here don't do that Okay, we're just looking straight up and then down. Oh, I've checked my form again. Oh, my stomach was probably blowing out there, guys. <laughs> Back nice and flat against that ground. Stomach in tight, but don't hold your breath. Just engage those ab muscles. Hold it here. All right, you guys, straight arms. You're gonna go over your head and then right back down. Do not touch the ground uh, above you. All right, just right here, alternating sides. Nice, don't touch the ground though. All right, we're gonna do four more. Four, three, two, last one, one. Open the palms up, facing towards your toe. Let's do chest press. We already did these earlier. Doing them again, but we're going a little quicker this time. It's down and up. Don't forget to breathe, guys. All right, let's do the crunches. Add the crunch right here. Crunch it. Crunch. Rest that neck when you go down. Each time it helps with uh, the neck muscles. Give it a little break right here. Just going to lift up. All right, give me one more, guys. Palms facing each other. Give me flies. Open up. Squeeze those chest muscles. Check your form. I just had to check mine. I was good, but I didn't have to check it. Open, close. Squeezing those chest muscles when you come up. All right, now let's add the crunch with it. Here we go. Crunch it between those legs and back down. Remember, don't touch the ground when you come down here. Squeeze. All right, a couple times you do see my neck go down because I wanna check my form. I wanna make sure I'm not blowing my stomach out when I come up. I wanna push it down into that ground instead. So just give yourself a quick check. Other than that, keep your chin up. One more. Nice job, guys. All right, overhead. Woo. Actually, keep it in hammer form. Sorry, keep those uh, palms facing each other. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do those skull crushers again. So right here, right, left. Right next to that ear, but don't hit your ear. Control the movement. And again, for those of you who don't have weights, this is still great. 
It's still a great workout. You're still moving. You're still engaging those muscles and you're doing what you can do. And you're making your workout work for yourself and that's great. And if you're sitting down just watching this, that's all right. We hope you join us next time. Maybe you'll come back and decide you can do it. Keep going, guys. You're right here. One more. Nice. All right, I'm going to grab my weights so I can show you guys what we're doing next. We're bending our elbows again. We're doing the one where you tap overhead. You come up and crunch it. Touch your elbows to the ground and then overhead. So I, this time I want you to touch both times, right here and then right back here. Resting that neck, come up, one, two count, and then right back down. Give yourself this little crunch, crunch. My abs are totally engaged, which is why it's hard for me to talk. <laughs> crunch right there, and then right back down. Working those ab muscles today. Strong core, strong body. You'd be amazed on how much having a strong core helps your body. All right, you guys, come on up. I hope I am in form or in, um, I mean, not in form. In, uh, I can't even think of the word now. In frame. I hope I'm in frame because uh, I cannot see my phone. The sun is ricocheting on it. Up one more and hold. All right, you guys, hold this position. What I want you to do is I want you to punch, alternating towards that knee on each side, holding that neck up. Again, if these are too heavy, right here. If it's hard on your neck, switch sides with your neck right here, okay? If it's like, oh, Summer, you're killing my neck, man. Hold it right here, okay? Alternating. Whatever works for you and down you guys that was it everybody ditch your weights if you have weights ditch them if you have water bottles cans of soup whatever ditch them we are done nice job guys i am super proud of you bring your arms up face your palms to each other uh, fingers are reaching for the sky or ceiling what i want you to do is your right arm is going to reach really far and hold, lifting that side of the shoulder blade off the ground and relax it. Now do it with left. Reach up, get that left shoulder blade up off that ground, reaching and stretching and release. Now we're gonna do both together. Here we go. Reach, reach them up. You should feel the middle of that spine more into that ground. Just hold and release. We're gonna do one more on each side, right side first. Release, left side, calm breaths. We're cooling down, release both sides. And release, nice job guys. All right, I want you to hug yourself. So wrap those arms around you. Give yourself a good hug. You did an amazing job. Switch sides, other arm above the other. And just hug yourself. Nice job, guys. I want you to flip over on all fours for me. I'm gonna get on all fours. I want you to take your left hand. Hopefully I am in frame. Boy, I really hope I am. Right hand, I mean, sorry, right hand. You're gonna needle thread through, right like this, just straight through, guys. Don't go down here or up here. Straight through, get that ear to the ground, almost like you're listening to something. Oh, nice stomach view for you guys. Huh. And just hold. Gently come up, and we're gonna switch sides. Hopefully I won't show you my stomach this time. Thread through that left, straight through, and hold. Come on back up into all fours. 
what we're gonna do is I want you to sit back on those heels for me, straighten out those arms, drop that head, and hold. Come up and I want you to bring those hips forward onto the ground. If you can, I want you to tilt your head back. I have um, spine issues, so I cannot do that. So I just hang out right here. And up. All right, you guys, I always want to end you with our breathing. So we will be doing that. We're gonna inhale nice and long. That's weird. <laughs> nice and long through our nose. We're gonna inhale while lifting our arms up to the side. We're gonna hold them on top. We're gonna exhale through our mouth nice and long and bring our arms down in front of us come join me we're gonna do this nice and slow and calming here we go inhale hold exhale inhale hold exhale inhale Hold, exhale. Awesome job, guys. Thanks again for joining me. Ooh, that was a good one. I liked it. I'm gonna go make another video somewhere around this park, I think, and uh, you know, see what I got going on here. If you haven't yet, please like, give me a thumbs up, like this, please subscribe, hit that bell icon so you will get notified up in your top corner or wherever it is on your computer or phone when I upload a new workout. Until then, here's to a healthier you. Peace out from Naples.